she is Bruce Lee. She is a Terminator, an Avenger, but on the bad side. She has the rugby body, so she's going to smash you down. She has that um, Thanos glove. She's going to smash you. She's going to finish you off because she's so thick and strong. Because obviously the fat has migrated to other places. So she has real like superhuman powers. Oh, Cyan Bougie, always trending for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I have opened a case. I'm currently at the police station in Mamluri East. I have opened a case against the person that has attacked me and my team, which is the owner of Konabucha. And I also want to clarify just two things. There are two stories that are circulating. Firstly, there was no point in time where I fought with any girl about any guy. And there was no point in time where I fought with an artist. There was no artist there except me so um i also want to say that the main reason why we had gotten into a fight with this person was because he had to pay us he owes us money from two of the gigs we had with him and he hasn't paid from forever so my manager tried to approach him and that's when everything just went south i own you you are manipulating me every time each time you lie on me you said you want to go post something you want money from me you want a car you want this is this how you treat me you want to go and meet someone and fuck someone just want to start off by saying this is some sensitive content so viewer discretion is advised this here guys is my ex-boyfriend who claims that this car has caused this amount of blood in my apartment by my kitchen sorry i didn't wash the dishes also by the kitchen too from also down my door to the whole passage in fact, this was the blood caused by him on me, on my arm, and on my waist. He made it clear that because I'm cheating on him, he's going to kill me and then kill himself. This was a few hours before the incident. They had told me that they are outside the door. I should open the door. They didn't tell me they were on the way. And they came in the apartment without my access. And I told them, I'm by my niggas place. What do you guys want? It's like, which boyfriend? And I made it clear that I'm actually seeing someone because I've left him a long time ago, but he couldn't accept. This is also me talking to my best friend just before the incident on Tuesday, informing him that he is threatening to come to my place, of which he did, and fight me, of which he did, and I had a protection order against him. Trend for wrong reasons, let's not forget this girl, because in her head, everyone who gets close to her is a problem. I think at some point she has to grow up and realize who really is a problem. They met through their boyfriends who are friends so while at a club this girl notices that she is being recorded and I guess she didn't like that and tries to snatch the phone that's when the fight broke down the girl has opened a case against her and yeah. I think at some point she needs to stay behind bars just so she can learn a thing or two. Say it. You know, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Say it. I'm sorry for disrespecting you. And you will never do it again, right? I will never do it again. You will never say any negative thing about me, right? I won't. And you will make sure that we are scholar to pass, right? I will make sure. Thank you. So never know Nakele Halla Helen Bulela so all the time, little less next second now. So you must slap me mouth. And hey, what's some clap like oh I'm on na why did you do that? I keep moving groove and hood clear, it's a girl shoot a so that is what happens when you fuck with me. So hi, sweetie. Anyways, this is my side of the story. Bougie Life of Cyan, episode 12 of 152. I just want to tell you guys that you know me by now. If I actually beat someone up, I'm going to own up to that shit. How am I beating a 49-year-old? Huh? It doesn't make sense, guys. So this was my manager, and I'm gladly no longer working with him, and I'm moving to an agency, and we're actually on our way to work. We have to stop now. To address about that nigga he mustn't feel that he's that special but anyways uh i'm moving to an agency we are elevating we are going international so if a pers person can accept that he's no longer getting any percentage from the same bougie brand because it's a consequence of how you've treated me if they're gonna fake an eye there is nothing i can do 
There is absolutely nothing I can do. I can't put a face to you guys and say, no, I didn't do it. Believe it or not, I'm moving on. I'm elevating. My team and I could have said so much because we were all present there. But we really don't have that time. So peace out. Choose your sides. And either you're staying with the team or you're moving to the victim side, bro. Bro. I'm not a fighter, but I can fight. So you fought with a couple of girls in the industry. That really? got clout. Because you're talking about you only fight with girls that got clout. Oh, yeah. Um, and then... Um, but I did beat her up, though. And that's the part that didn't trend. And it pisses me off. Because everyone has trended. Uh, the the made, like, all the screenshots trend and all the, like, the dumb things. And mm -hmm. us fighting, like, we were a bit emotional. Mm -hmm. But they could have posted, like, the physical fight. Because they posted the emotional one. So someone took footage of this physical fight. I don't know, but I saw on TikTok like search. They were like fighting at the mall, and we were actually at the mall. So why I don't did know you beat her? Saw. Why are you beating her? Like beating him up? Um, because I think she really, really deserved it, and I think she really celebrated my biggest downfall I've ever had, and went live and made it like a real thing. So what I is your biggest downfall you've ever had? My sex tape. It ended in tears. Later. Guys, there has to be something wrong with Usain Bougie because why does she have to fight every time she has to pay for something? Like, I mean, for a person that bought a house cash, what is 6k ya Uber? What is 6k ya Uber if you bought a house cash? You know, you know, Angeli, I'm just asking you guys to make it make sense because I uh, ish, 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 I tagan. Angeli. I'm not a cowboy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. oh. Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you dress, make, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sweat, baby, baby, pissing in your pants of pressure. Vault. 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 Vault into this video alrighty then you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you guys do enjoy my videos please do click on the thank you button and before you guys leave out of here please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below right in this video you guys as we kick off the new month of October we are going to talk about Usayan Bougie. Now, you guys know that October is the month of creepy hotels, you know. We have Halloween in October. And also, if you've paid attention in the past couple of years, we have a lot of shady, creepy things, including deleterizations, um, that peak in October. So I feel like in this situation, it is only natural for Usayan Bougie to start trending in October. Every time. And I know many of you out there are just like me. Where you wish Usayan Bougie the best of luck. Where you can see how dazzling her diamond, her star, could potentially shine. But no. Usayan Bougie always finds a way to mess it up. I don't know if it's a self-control issue. What the hell it is. She always has these seasons of downtime, as we all do, actually, right? But then when she peaks, there's always a problem. Another thing I was thinking is that Sayan Bougie must be careful with the things that she posts online. It's like the people that buy cars, right? You buy your car. As soon as you drive it out of that um, dealership, then you crash it or you get hijacked. Wait, 
Let God give you the blessing before you start to announce it. Don't announce before. Don't announce immediately right after. Just wait until you are sitting comfortably in that blessing before you start to tell the world. Now, why do you post your blessings, those kind of big blessings on social media? I'm talking about blessings because Sayin Bougie just recently posted that she was in Dubai, had to cut her trip short because she had to come back home to move into a bigger and nicer place. You know, more than anything, more than anything, I am so grateful. Like, I don't even know where to start right now, guys. I'm so blessed. I just came back from vacation. I didn't even finish my my day three in Dubai. And I've spent, like, almost five days there. And came back, fully booked, did crazy shows on the weekend. I'm coming back to try and chill. And... I can't chill because I'm moving to my house. I'm moving to a bigger space, a better space. Like, I'm so shocked. I'm so. Congratulations to her. But right after that, now we don't know if she's pre recorded this or not. But as soon as people catch wind of your blessings, they start to do funny little creepy things. I told you guys, even if you are deep rooted in Christ, you repent, you pray, you are all up in there in your secret place with the good Lord. That does not prohibit or block the creeps or the danger from approaching, from coming to you. They are still going to try. If you are armored up, God will get you out of those sticky situations. But that is not to say that the creeps are not going to come. Right after Zion Bougie had posted that she was moving into a bigger, better place, her drama starts to unfold. Whereas in the past couple of weeks and so on, she's been posting really positive content, just living her life with her new man, cars, puppies, very wholesome. No drama at all. But as soon as she lets the world know, that these are my blessings. And you know what, the crazy thing is, in one of the videos that Sayan Bougie did, she was actually saying thank you. Like, I can't believe that this is my life. I can't believe that I'm, I'm blessed in so much abundance. It's giving wholesome. It's giving nice. It's giving congratulations, my lady. It's giving, you haven't been trending for a while for negative things. Good for you. But then now, the whole situation that just came about where she effed up an Uber driver's car. She went to Bloom. She negotiated with this Uber guy. Corey, can I call you whenever to come and pick me up, drop me off, whatever, whatever. I guess maybe she felt comfortable with this guy. I understand, right? He fetched her from Bloom. She paid the deposit of 3,000 rand. The total was supposed to be 6,000 rand. And she said, once we get to our destination, I will pay the balance. Once they got to the destination, she didn't pay the balance. And he's like, give me my money type of situation. And then she was like, no, my blesser, this is what the hem hems are saying out there. My blesser is going to pay the balance. I don't know why this girl is always trending. Each and every other week, Sayan Bougie will trend. Ah, so this time, Sayan Bougie is trending because she damaged the car of her hired driver. So Sayan Bougie hired an Uber driver for a personal trip to Bloemfontein. The initial agreement for the trip was 6,000 rands. So Sayan Bougie only paid 3,000 as deposit and promised the driver that the balance will be settled once they reach Bloemfontein. But upon arrival, the driver wanted the balance and Sayan Bougie told him that the balance will be settled even later. An argument started and ended up with Sayan Bougie throwing bricks at the driver's car and a case of vandalism has been opened against Sayan Bougie. So you can see that she was traveling with a whole vehicle that she decided to vandalize and I honestly don't understand why didn't she pay the agreed amount because she is the one that promised that once they get to Bloemfontein, she will pay the balance. Now, why was she coming up with more stories that it will be paid afterwards? Why would the driver leave her there without getting his balance? Me too, I would also want my money. 
and also three thousand is not just a little money it's a lot especially traveling with such a beautiful car all that comfortability that she has been enjoying throughout this road she even took videos of her enjoying this car all alone now she does not want to pay the agreed amount no that was wrong of him but that was not the agreement that we had god only knows where the blesser was when he had to pay the ba the balance unreachable maybe with his wife and family and kids so it doesn't matter how much the thing is the internet is fake we always think that these people elevate and they grow and they change their lives this is the same thing that we were thinking about saying bougie but clearly there's still a blesser somewhere there in the picture that's the one that was supposed to pay the balance you just moved into a bigger better place you are saying how blessed you are that you have gigs lined up. You just got into South Africa and you're booked and busy. Where's the 3,000 Rand for the Uber guy? That that should be chump change. That should really be chump change. Is it not? I mean, it's just transportation type of situation. And then when you cannot pay the money and you're telling the guy that, no, my blesser guy is going to pay it, you start to vandalize this guy's car. That's the story that is out there on the streets. It's the same story that keeps reoccurring with Sai and Bougie. Whenever she doesn't get her way or people annoy her, she beats them up because she is Bruce Lee. She is a Terminator, an Avenger, but on the bad side. She has the rugby body, so she's going to smash you down. She has that um, Thanos glove, she's going to smash you. She's going to finish you off because she's so thick. And strong because obviously the fat has migrated to other places, so she has real like superhuman powers. I think I don't know. I've never done a BBL. My ass is natural. I wouldn't know if you've had a BBL. Please let us know where it migrates to. Once everything is kind of sort of settling down, type of situation. I'm not saying this to be funny or to try to diss Cyan, but Cyan this is herself. It's the same thing that people have been saying how we are a generation of happy pictures. But deep down inside and in the background, you are so depressed. You are going through the most because why are you beating up the guy that you're supposed to be paying? Just pay him the money you made the arrangement. Why? What is the drama for? And not so long before this, I didn't even do a video about it because I was like, ah, not again, not Usayan. I won't lie to you guys. I'm rooting for Usayan. I really want that girl to do, I, feel, I just have that feeling that she can be so phenomenal. But every time I feel like she's reached that point where, oh, now she's phenomenal. She just backslides. Gabsung. Gabsung. Pay the guy his money that you agreed to pay him. You're on the internet. Happy pictures, happy posts. I'm thriving and surviving. But then when things like this happen, where we can see you can't pay 3,000 rand balance, we know. Where's your team? Shouldn't the transportation be sorted out by your people? It's, it shouldn't be something that you should be bothering with. They need to get you there and bring you back safely. Why are you as the artist handling that kind of nonsense? At that point, it's just nonsense. It's, you have to focus on your performance so that everybody can get paid. Sayan Bougie, I feel like, and as many of you like to say, Sayan Bougie is so honest. She tells the truth all the time. She's been lying for the longest time. She shows you what she wants you to see, like many of these thoughts and holes on Instagram with their fake lives. She does the same thing. She will tell you the, the very detailed truth of a section that is grimy. Therefore, if she's telling you the truth about a grimy section, you are now going to believe everything else. Whereas there's so much that is murky or lies. It's so sad. This girl has been, I feel, I feel like ever since I started on the internet three years ago, right? We are now approaching four years, guys. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I've always been doing only dramatic videos about that girl. But in every single video that I've done, I've always said, I want this girl. Even when she came out 
and responded to one of my videos, retaliated. I don't know why you would want to retaliate to me. It doesn't make any sense. For anyone that tries to do that thing, I'm not going to respond to your nonsense. I already made the video. What do you mean? I already told the truth. And that's the only reason why you would want to respond to me. Because we are sabega, because it's the truth. That's the only reason why. I'm not going to lie about you. Uh, the truth hurts, is it not? I want, honestly, you can say whatever you want to me. I don't know who Zion reminds me of, man, in my journey of life. But there's someone. And I think that is why I want her to succeed. And in every other video I've done about her, I always say, I want her to succeed. I can see it. It's, it could work out. But there's something about her that's just not right. There's that spirit that comes in and messes up her whole thing. And then one day, that spirit is going to mess things. Like, so many times people have gotten over Sion's drama. Sion who saw, Sion who saw, she's a bully, she's a... She's a, um, she gets physical with people. She's dangerous. And everybody just keeps on brushing it off. Oh, because Sian Boo's just so honest. Honest about a particular situation within the bigger situation. I feel like after, it, it, and it really was after she posted about um, getting a bigger, better place. The drama happens. Some people are saying that maybe she's on Stagger D and that's what trips her up. I don't know what it is. But I do know for sure there's a spirit involved. There is definitely a spirit involved that doesn't want to see that girl thrive and survive. Like I was saying, now I didn't do the other video about when she was fighting with another girl. I guess they were hosting. The girl looks so beautiful, so cutesy and demure with her hair and her nails. And they looked in, in the beginning of the video, the beginning of the night... Her and Cyan were kind of cozy, nice, nice. Cyan looks dry compared to that girl. She looks good too on the filter. I don't know in real life. But when she pans to the other girl, it's, there's a very big difference. And I feel like maybe Cyan goes to these places and then she expects to be the it thing. And when she's not, that's when she'll fight with the other girls. Oh, maybe even fight with the guys. When she's not the center of attraction, we can all clearly see in that video that that other girl was looking dazzling, you know, very, very nice compared to her. So the night started, even when she panned to that girl, it was giving us vibes, like, <laughs> you know. Cyan is a very gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Even with her fake botched body, she is still a very gorgeous girl. And I don't think that Cyan is stupid either. And I do believe that Cyan does want to draw closer to God. I really, really, really do. But couldn't have those moments where things just get effed up. I don't know if it's alcohol, it's the weed that she smokes, or it's Daradi. I really don't know. But something happens within her. And I can I can kind of sort of relate. This is the reason why I've had to learn my limits when it comes to alcohol intake. And also, don't take any other substances, Lynn. It's not going to work out for you. Trust me, I've been there. I'm not doing experimenting, trying this. No, I was there in my um, my teen years and college years. I tried it all. But I know better now as a 33-year-old woman. I understand. I know that it's gonna. the lights are going to go off at some point if I was to try to fit in or do this thing. or No, I, I'm not going back down that path. I really see a light in that girl. I just hope that one day she will value herself enough. I don't care about people saying Sian Bougie is moody. We all moody. Sian Bougie is like a bitch, like snacks or so. We all have that resting bee face. Renali moods. Renali our things. But I genuinely do believe in my heart of hearts, she's not a bad person. Something happens when... Substances get involved. And I'm not saying substances is daradi. Alcohol, just people, a lot, a lot just happens. Watching. And I'm also saying this from experience. You understand? I don't dislike Usayan. And I only will ever wish the best for her because I can literally see that light shining in that girl. But it's only going to be a matter of time until it, it's no longer dim. 
it just blows out completely at Ima. If she's not careful, if she doesn't stop being a, 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 a what's this, a new age prosty. And I call a spade a spade, Luna. Don't be scared to say it. If she doesn't stop being a new age prosty. In my opinion, from what I have observed, especially after seeing that Mavoso video, I would never say something about someone that we haven't seen already type of situation. <laughs> Guess all, no. Because one day she's going to come across the wrong one. She's going to come across someone that is like her. She's very sweet, 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 right? And then Ibanima is Trima. Is that Trima? And then she's going to be in danger. Because other people have been in danger that were in her, her space or the same vicinity. I'm not a fighter, right? But I know I've been in other situations where the lights went off. And it's not good when that happens. Because generally, I'm a nice person or I can just sweep things under the rug and just be like, mm, whatever, laugh it off. I can see you being mean, live and direct, whether we are in public or in private. But I always try to defuse a situation. I don't want to escalate it. One, because I'm not a fighter. But I know myself. And I've been in those kind of situations where the lights have gone off. And it's not a good thing. So I'm never going to put myself in a situation like that. Or to get to that point where it gets dangerous. I wish Usai and Buju all the best of luck. And I wish that she will not put herself in these dangerous situations. That guy's car that she effed up, it could have been another guy who had a gun. And they could have killed her. People are killing people very um, willingly and easily these days. She needs to be very careful, especially because she's a DJ um, in the nighttime lifestyle, in the dark night. And that goes out to anyone else. And I do feel like if you are going to be starstruck or you're excited to chill with Cyan, you must anticipate that at the end of the night, something wrong is going to happen. Usain gives off jealous, I'm, I'm jealous. Obviously, she's insecure. We all know this. It's a fact. She does BBLs and stuff and stuff to modify. She goes under the knife. These people are insecure. Their self-esteem doesn't even exist. Until. So if you're a pretty girl and you're just happy, 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 they give you that side eye. They'll be nice to you in the beginning. But then as the night progresses, they change. Like I'm um, Power Rangers. Rainbow Nation type of situation. And they're back together. Because from the jump when they met you, they were already envious. She gives off those vibes. You guys all say, you're so beautiful. Why are you? Yeah, now she doesn't feel that way. That's why she goes under the knife. You need to understand people. So if you're a pretty hun and you're going to chill with her and leave when you start to see, okay, mm -mm. She's getting a bit intoxicated. She's going to come for you. She's going to get you and rip your wig like she did that other girl. She's going to get upset if a blizzard didn't send the balance of the 3000 and she's going to beat you up because the, the guy didn't pay the money, like she said to the Uber guy. She's going to beat you up if you're somebody like Sima. The interviews that she's done where she spoke about Sima, it was giving jealousy because Sima is a very big character. And she was like, oh, to Altido, you know Sima? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know her? Like Sima's small. Sima's actually big. And she actually has talent. Sima can sing. She can act. She has talent inside of her vessel. Sayan Buji bought her body. That was her talent. Sayan Buji has had to work hard, which is okay, to become a DJ. I don't know how good or bad she is right now, but before she was bad. But she's never had any other talent but a pretty face and a botched body, or a bought body, rather. Let me not, you know. The day Sian Bougie and I would ever cross paths, trust and believe, she's going to jail because she's going to mess me up. Because she'd be annoyed by the videos I've done, right? But then she'd be going to jail for a very long time. Because I'm not going to mince my words and lie. It's bullshit what she does. All this violence. A pretty girl like that. And she, it seems like Simon Puji comes from a nice family. Let's just be honest. From what we've seen. And I'm going to say it one more time. 
I want the I want good for that girl because I know she has it in her, and I know a lot of you have also seen that light. That's why her friend was saying she was trying to do twenty twenty on a jealous. She doesn't. It's like these people that can hold that much power and influence don't see themselves because they're still comparing themselves with other people. If you don't see the power that you have now, it's sad. Manjan. I wish Usain wish you all the best of luck. She must wake up and smell the roses. So I'm dollar, you see? So I'm dollar. To always be going up and down um, police stations and stuff. It's dirty, man. It's giving that time when that thing fell out. Stop. Stop it. Stop that thing. Stop that thing. I need. It. If you stop that thing, you, you got this, girl. You got this. Anyway. If you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on the thank you button. And before you guys leave out of here, please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>